I guess I've just been procured. So let's talk about procurement. Procurement is at the center of every business. It takes care of obtaining what the business needs for its operations. I'm going to show you how Ariba goes one step further by merging all the functions of procurement into one single tool that even includes finance and the suppliers. So let's start this journey with a concrete example. Peter, our security officer, will be needing first aid kits. Now this is only one example of many MRO, goods, services that are covered by procurement. Let's go quickly over the process. We'll come back with a demo. So Peter goes into the internal catalog and makes a requisition with first aid kits. This then needs to be approved by his boss and then it becomes a purchase order. For the sake of simplicity, when you see blue, it's related to the buying process. When it's going to be orange, it's the pay or the supplier interaction. And later, when we're going to look at green, it will be the planning phase. So, the supplier receives the purchase orders, confirms it, and sends a delivery notification, for example. At that point, Peter receives the good into the system so that when the supplier sends an invoice, it can be matched with the purchase order and with the receipt for good compliance, and it's ready to be paid. Now, this was part two of the procurement process. It was the operational part. Now, where do you think this first aid kit came from in the first place? Well, it came from a contract. And this contract was negotiated with many suppliers that were pre-qualified, registered, and some of them were even discovered in emerging markets, for example. And all of this is based on the procurement planning that you did in the beginning of the year, based on your spend analytics. So you see now in green how the planning phase gets then executed during the buying process, all the way up to the supplier that sends an invoice. So what gets paid is what was negotiated, and what gets planned gets executed. And this is how Ariba merges the planning, buying and execution or paying phase of the process all under one tool, under one login, both for the supplier and for the buyers. So let's look at what it looks like. Let's start with guided buying. Guided buying is our new interface that makes it super easy for all the users to find what they need. So Peter searches for first aid kits. He finds the article that he needs provides a quantity, clicks buy now, and in three clicks, he's done. Let me come back here for a sec. Oh, sorry, my watch is sending me a notification. I've got something on my mobile. So let's look at this. Ariba Mobile, I have the app here. I need to log in, yeah. And then what do I see? Oh yeah, I see I've got work to do. 17 uh, things to approve. So let's look at this. I see here the list of uh, requisition. First aid kit, 5K US dollars. Uh, let's look at the details. Note that uh, the uh, original requisition uh, was made in euros. So we support currencies. So this is all fine. So I'm gonna go back here and approve and give a little, uh, yeah, thanks, here. And there we are, I've done my approval. So for casual users, a lot of things can be done straight out of the mobile. It even includes the requisition and the shopping in the catalog that you saw earlier on. So this has now become a purchase order. So let's continue the demo with the supplier side. So the buyers are not the only one to get mobile apps. You have them as well for the sales guy on the supplier side. And here, the supplier can see his order. And the first one is the order that was initiated by Peter. The supplier will confirm this order to let Peter know when it's going to be delivered. That's very handy to have a status about the delivery and expediting information. 
At this point, we will need to remind Peter that he should do the receiving. So we send him an email and we do a little sneaky uh, thing on him. We ask him to rate his purchase just to incentivize him to actually do the receiving. Once that's done, the supplier goes back into his screen to create an invoice. But before that, let's notice that this is the same place well, where the supplier will see his proposals or where he can negotiate contract. So from the purchase order, the supplier will create an invoice. It will convert the information from the purchase order to the invoice. But we put a lot of rules. We make your compliance happen at the supplier side. Here, the supplier tried to put the date in the past. And the system said, no, 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 you can't do that. You have to comply with your buyer's rules. And those rules can make about 80% of all the accounts payable problems go away. It's really a high efficiency way to process invoices. Another example of those rules, here if the supplier changes the quantity from 100 to 200, another stop. The system says, you cannot create this invoice. This invoice is not compliant. Please correct it. And so only when the supplier has corrected everything, can he submit this invoice back to the buyer. At this point, this invoice has been sent to the buyer and it can be reconciled with the purchase order and the receipt for a good three-way match that will release the payment. We can see this matching happening here on the buyer side. You see the invoice and as a reference, you can see all the documentation, the purchase order, the receipt, the invoice and the payment. All of this in one place so accounts payable can manage those invoices there. On the supplier side, the same story. He sees the purchase order, he sees the information about the invoice that he created, and he can see the scheduled payments for this invoice. So let's move now to the strategic part. Let's remember that this first aid kit had to be published in procurement in some kind of a way. And look, if we put 10, the price goes down. If we put 100, it becomes even cheaper. And if we put a thousand, it really gets a good discount. So where does that logic comes from? It comes from a contract. And we can see here the applicability of this contract. It's a quantity based discount. So the more you order, the cheaper it gets. And this contract is tracked. Basically the consumption of this contract is tracked to make sure that those discounts are applied. Now, if we look at the process of creating this contract, we are now in the contract management module with things such as task, document, tracking, dates, renewals, in order to manage all that process. We can also manage the document, the legalese data inside the contract. You see here the clauses. Some of them are from the library. Some of them are non-standard. And based off that, you can have workflows, for example. Most of our users prefer to use Microsoft Word. That's why it's fully integrated. Now, to show you that this process is completely linked with everything else, let's move to the sourcing event that was used to create this contract. And we see it here, three suppliers, three different prices. But price is not the only thing you want to analyze. Maybe there are more complexity behind the scene shipping costs, for example, so we can have formulas. We will also support qualitative data scores. Basically, answers, are they good, bad, in the middle? And you assign a score to be able to evaluate non-commercial aspects. And all of this can be helped with scenarios. Do you want the absolute cheapest price or do you want only one supplier? Or do you want this quality specific information? and then the system will help the buyer make that decision. When it comes to finding new supplier, we have about 2 million suppliers on our network. So why not search in there? So we've made a searching screen to find new suppliers. You can post information to find new suppliers and get a better commercial offer. 
The process of those suppliers, the process of registering them, will be completely managed by Arriva. As you know, the supplier is really our bread and butter. And so you want to use them because they will take part of many of your processes. So when it comes to their registration, their validation, their renewals, uh, their tracking, and even the risk management, everything is in here to do this. You can see here specific questions, specific interrogations that you can ask your supplier to manage all that relationship. You can have internal questions, external questions. You can even route some of the questions or sections to a third party for analysis if you want. Certifications will have expiry dates and it will notify you when those certifications will get expired. And this brings us back also to the quality aspect. We can track the KPI. We see here 360 degree or a holistic view of all the suppliers information in interactivity contracts, savings, spend by commodity, by cost center. Where does this supplier interact with your organization? And seeing this all in one place is very powerful. You can see also all the audits and all the participation of all the sourcing events he did in the past. Once again, very nice when you negotiate with this contract to have this in front of you to discuss. This performance, you see it here on the dashboard in color. Server tech has a green core. Maybe even Landsoft. He was red at the beginning and he became better and better during the year. So we're satisfied with his quality and delivery. This is all based on your plan, basically, your master plan of sourcing. Where do you want your savings to be? Where do you want your risks to be addressed? And you can track those savings and this plan throughout the year so you know exactly where you are and you have good metrics to report on. And finally, this brings us to the last piece or the first piece, if you want, the spend analytics. And in here, we can rationalize your own source of data from any systems and enrich it, assign commodities, classification, rationalize the supplier, so that even if you don't use everything here in Ariba, any source of data that you have can be used for reporting. And this derives a pipeline. It basically tells you where are the opportunities to get better in procurement. And so you see with Ariba inside one single tool, you can make an analysis that will derive a plan. You can find new suppliers, register them, track their quality, make sourcing event and contracts that will then go into operational procurement so that when someone like Peter needs to request, his manager will approve. The supplier will provide a status. Peter will receive for a good three-way match with the invoice, which will release the payment all in one tool, all under one login, from planning, buying, and paying with a rebound.